I love it. You're on mute. <laughs> I can't, still can't hear you. you I should be recording this. This is genius. What is going to happen, everybody? It's Nolan North, back from quarantine. It's Retro Replay. Um, okay, so here we are. We're just stuck in our homes. we got... Nothing to do but look at our dogs or cats or whatever you have, family, whatever. We're making it through. We're uh, hunkered down. Everyone's staying safe, healthy. Hope you guys are too. Um, so I thought today, why not let's reach out to the friends using this great new thing, this Zoom, uh, which I wish I had bought stock in before the pandemic. But, you know, like most things, I failed. So uh, I was talking the other day to somebody and he was down for it. So. Let's jump right into this, okay? And let's go all the way to the lovely island of New Zealand and find Graham McTavish. Graham, come on in. Where are you, buddy? Ah, there you are. I'm here. Yes, I'm you are. Island. Through the genius lovely. of technology, I am joining you. We, we share our AirPods, and uh, here we are. There you go. All right, lads? Okay, so it's uh, Thursday afternoon. What, what, what is it there in New Zealand? Is it it's Friday. Friday right? I live in the future. I live in the future, Nolan. Really? Yes, I am in uh, the future. I'm in how, how do things go for me in the future? Uh, it's best we skip that. It's best uh. we just skip that because, uh, yeah. So I was, um, you know, we were, uh, you, we, last time I saw you, we were doing the Uncharted 2 playthrough here on this channel, I think, where you yes. got to sit in with us and, and watch me fail over and over again. It's not working. You literally look like you're moments away from drooling into a cup. <laughs> um, and I was just, you know, people have been just saying, hey, you know, this, uh, when are you going to do these other ones? When are you going to talk on chart? And I've just been, you know, Emily has been working with uh, Jill on uh, our production company now, and they're, they're mm -hmm. just doing amazing yeah. stuff. Um, and uh, I thought, you know, if I got you on the line, it'd be great. Yes. I mean, I haven't talked to, we got to find Richard. I mean, do you know he's well, back in Maine? R R Richard who? Sully. Richard who? That's very clever. Oh, yes. Yes. The, uh, the sort of yeah, my name oh! Oh! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Richard McGonagall is joining the program. Look at you. What, it, what happened Look to your face? You. Do, do, I, do people it's, sit on your lap and, and ask you for presents? <laughs> Look at you. Yes, they do. And very often they get one. Ow! That real enough for you? Uh, yeah, I'm sure they do. <laughs> wow. I love the, uh, the Thomas Kincaid background. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank with you. That. That's, that's so New it. England. That, that looks like every house of all my relatives back in New England. <laughs> well, that's where I am. That's right. What, so how's, how's, how's life treating you out there in, in, the, in the main global pandemic? Life is great here. It's, uh, we're you know, going through the same thing that everybody else is, but at a, a, a smaller uh, numbers, like Graham was saying. We're, we're, um, I, I'm not sure exactly how many cases are here in, in Maine where I live, but uh, it's not that many, and I think we've only had a few deaths. So, well, you know, certainly a few deaths compared to the number of people you've murdered in your house. Uh, right. So that's like how many bar, how many bodies there, are buried man. on your property? How What's many? That? How many non-COVID nineteen deaths related deaths are 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 on your property now? Because you have acres to hide things. Let's let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, did you just get a glimpse? Did you just get a glimpse of Richard's hand? Did you see it? Yeah. It's, it's a paw. It's enormous. It's a, it's a paw. Look at it. Yeah. That oh is. My God. If you saw that like as a track in the snow, you would, you would run a mile. Well, hopefully no, you, would, you wouldn't you... see my handprints in the snow. 
<laughs> well, well, I've seen you move. I've seen you move around. I've seen you, you move. You move faster on all fours. It's like a bear just chasing down victims. It's amazing. I remember that time I came over to your place in Burbank and you were slathered in honey and and just had their feathers and you go, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I, I, it's like you were confused and we got you through it, but it was certainly fantastic. Uh, this is great. This is, this is great. <laughs> look at that, Richard. We got, we already got Graham crying. <laughs> look at this. You know, I also just noticed the first time in history, all three oh, years of classes. No one else how will old find we've this funny at all. Like, I can't see anyone. <laughs> That's oh, right. This is fun. You know what? You know what? Oh. Um, there's only one other person who knows all about all the mystery of Richard. And uh, let me see if I can reach her right now. I got to get Emily's got to be out there somewhere. Emily Rose, where are you? Emily Rose, paging Emily. Rose. Oh, look who it is. There she is. I, I didn't is. get You look the very white. frightened. I, did, I am. And I didn't get this white beard memo thing that's happening. No. I didn't either. Elena Fisher, foreign correspondent. <laughs> no. And, and yeah, the glasses is, no, memo. Well, makeup. maybe I could do this. There we go. Now we're all in the you same. You know what's amazing? I'm looking at Graham and Richard. Oh, and I'm kind of going. <laughs> kind of looking like, like, I think we're all going to end up looking like Richard. We're just going to all <laughs> make our way to Sully. Well, I'm, yes. I'm, I am amazed. I mean, Emily looks exactly the same as she did when we first started mm. shooting so Uncharted. Sweet. So sweet. You look. That's Fabulous. false, but so sweet. Thank look you. Marvelous. Look marvelous. All, right. <laughs> All right, steady, Richard. Steady, steady. Take, take Emily, it, how is life bell. treating you? Well, you got, there's three children now, all stuck in a house mm -hmm. with three young children. I under, and, mm -hmm. and we talked. You're, mm -hmm. you're, oh, my God, you've had another mom, child teacher. since. Yes. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm homeschooling a six-year-old, almost seven-year-old, a four-year-old, and I have a today 10-month-old. Oh, my goodness. Congratulations. Thank so four, you. Four, four children. Four, four children. Three. Sorry, yeah, sorry. <laughs> three. I make three. Well, at least four being in the United Derek. States, it does. I don't sorry. know what it says got, on New Zealand. I got very confused. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're used to yes. that with you. That's great. Yeah. Well, good. This, look at this. Is becoming a, this is becoming a, like a, a little, little, little thing here. Like yeah. it wasn't, like it, like, it's almost like if it was planned. Isn't so this kind of funny? <laughs> You almost think it was. <laughs> yeah, almost uh -huh. looks planned. Like, yeah. like, like if I just said, pulled out a name, like yeah. who's another uh, absolute name that you can't talk Uncharted without? Uh, like if I just went, you know, Claudia Black, like oh. she would appear, you know? If I said, oh, are you kidding me? I'm out of control. It's Claudia it's Black. Like it's Chloe herself, best is. driver in the business. Good evening, lads. All right, darling. Looks like hell spit you two back out. Playing with matches. What <laughs> oh, are you doing? You're, you're, you were, were you about to burn your house down? Something. Oh I mean, I, I, it's so hot in here. I'm not complaining. It's lovely weather in LA, but um, my AC's broken. So I thought I'd oh, no. uh, see what happens when you light some matches. Well, it's going to get hotter. <laughs> that's, gonna, that's not going to help Hello. the heat any. Uh, listen, oh, good. I'm not very bright, but at least I'm slow. <laughs> I like that. That was my favorite line of yours. I may not be very talented, but at least I'm unprofessional. <laughs> it's perfect. Now I just That's walk into rooms cool. and say, you're welcome. But because of the pandemic, I'm walking into rooms where there's no one else. So I'm just, you know. Yes. Yeah, I haven't true. actually had a problem with the pandemic because everybody used to say I was antisocial and now I'm socially responsible. So I'm good with it. You know, I don't have to dig the moat <laughs> around the house anymore. Fill it with oil and fire. Yeah, you, yeah that's right. Yeah, yeah. The drawbridge. Yeah. yeah. Piranha. That's... Piranha, alligators, whatever. This is cool. This is cool. Okay. Um, this is great. Let's pull out. Uh, let's, let's just get to it because it's getting silly. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. You know what? I got it. Guy who could not join us for Uncharted 1's playthrough or 2. Uh you know, uh, but we miss him. We love him. You do too. Let's bring him out. He's your favorite uncle, Robin Atkin Downs. Robin, where are you? Come on, join the fun. Hello. He's doing the. I'm trying to do the pose, but I. Uh, it didn't work. Okay, so like everything else. Look at you. You are. You look doing? at you. You're just not just, gonna. 
I was just cracking up listening to um, Graham talk about Richard's hands, and he actually sounded like Simon Cowell, like, He's um, absolutely got the largest hands I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, if I was making love to two squirrels and one of them exploded all over me, I would absolutely prefer Richard's hands than watching that. Anyway, <laughs> doesn't he sound a little bit like Richard Cowan? Uh, Dude, are you? Are you know. I've never thought. Are I've you, never heard are you that a, before. But are you a maitre d? <laughs> at a restaurant? What are you? Yeah, what are you? this is just a foolish. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Just, do you miss the outside so much that when you're for your wife and say, "Hey, dinner," and you're like, well, "I'll seat everybody." <laughs> he ran out of pajamas. I this mean, is, the day uh, pajamas became the night pajamas. Exactly. Exactly. Right? Like, well, at yes. least he's I drinking. Mean, at least someone got that memo. God. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is basically the daily routine. You know, just make a martini and yeah. uh, put on the tux and. Um, Try not to have an anxiety attack, you know. <laughs> Claudia, <laughs> did you just take a drink out of a flower vase? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> are you drinking? Are you, are you, is that a new kind of vegan thing? It's like, well, we drink the water. We don't want to waste it. <laughs> I think, I feel like I'm going to age about five years before this video is done. So I may end up peeing in it under the desk before we're through. But, you know, you guys carry Very on. Very true. Oh, Very this is fun. True. Well, okay, look, uh, there's only one other person I can really think that we have to have in this. Uh, so, you know, let, let's let's bring her in. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Amy Hennig. Amy. Hello. Yes. Hi. Amy, we wanted to get you um, on here to see if you had any work, because we're all available. <laughs> they all have home studios? Oh, yeah, really yeah. top notch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you in a trailer, Claudia? I know. That's what you look like. Yes, I am. I'm in an airstream. <laughs> is, is it amazing. that bad? She's is it an airstream? <laughs> that's not funny. Robin's an essential worker, obviously. He's, uh, <laughs> yeah, no Robin's man. an essential worker. <laughs> Claudia, no, 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 it's fine. Uh, she has a bucket. <laughs> Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. I finally get to say it. <laughs> oh, God. That's not Claudia's first bucket. Claudia's <laughs> in Lancaster in some vacant lot, uh, you know, park a caravan. <laughs> She's siphoning, juggling for a siphoning living. Siphoning petrol out of people's cars just to drink, yeah. not because that's I need it. Interesting gesture. <laughs> that, that, that's that's what you're doing for money? Is that what you're like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amy. Oh. Well, Amy. This is oh. Amy Hennig after dark. She must be in a different time zone. Oh, guys, yeah. I've never, never been filthy before. Dang, He's already garbage. had three martinis before this. No, it's He's just, just not coffee, showing coffee, the bottle. Coffee, coffee, coffee. It would be really weird if one of us walked into someone else's frame right now. Then we'd know we were being very <laughs> naughty in the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Just being weird. moderately naughty. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Richard, if I, just, if I just crept around the corner into Richard's room. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I think it's Richard to be time. doing the creeping. Exactly. A giant <laughs> hand will just come and take you, Graham. Massive yeah. hand. I just, I'm kind of waiting for that, just this big hand to kind of reach yeah. across at me. Like, <laughs> you know, there's, there's some body that comes out from the basement. It's like, help me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why this has become the theme for you, Richard. Uh, the kindest, gentlest man. <laughs> How did Richard get this reputation as being a mass murderer? No one knows. <laughs> <laughs> it starts. It all started joking around. Just yeah. said, you know, here is one of the most professional, sweet, genuine people. And wouldn't it just be, wouldn't it just be the thing where you just like, you, you invite you over to the house and we're going to have like a, you know, hey, come on, we're going over for dinner. And then you just hear like muffled screams from like, do you have a basement? <laughs> He's putting on no. a like, leather apron. I don't have a basement. And he just rolls back the carpet and his, his hatch is <laughs> like, well, you did it now. <laughs> and then, yeah. you, know, and you go down there and there's just people, just you know, most of them just in their <laughs> panties, sweating and crying. He's like, ah, hey, it's not going to help. And the last thing you hear before you die is the sully laugh. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. No! <laughs> I, like, I like that you're crying. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Poor Emily. It's just so, no, I mean, it, 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 here it is. I got his glasses off. He's got the tears. That's what made me so happy in Uncharted. Let me say this. My favorite moments were with all of you when uh, we weren't necessarily saying lines because we always forgot them. Poor Amy. But it was so. just making making you know, Richard laugh or Graham or Gordon, God love him, or any, you know, everybody just cracking each other up right before a take or whatever, you know, uh, it's just, yeah. this, this is the stuff that I miss the most. I mean, Especially it just was, when you made Richard drool. That was my favorite. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, that was so hard. a different <laughs> story. Well, that, you know, that story is, is that story is somewhat famous. And, and I want everybody to see if they can remember, recount this, because <clears throat> I told this at cons and they said, like, what was the funniest moment on Uncharted? And I said, I got it. It was Uncharted 3. We were doing a scene <clears throat> and uh, Cutter had been drugged. And uh, Chloe and, and Elena and Drake were on one side and Talbot and his men were on the other side. And we had uh, Richard actually stood in to be one of his, the henchmen on Talbot's side of, of the, of the, the uh, 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 crevasse, whatever it was. Crevasse. And, and they can't do it. And we all had our guns pointed. And all of a sudden, you know, Graham, he said, shoot him. And he starts moving the gun over to me. Charlie. Oh, God damn it. Graham just looks up and I look over and we see that face that Richard's doing right now. <laughs> More effective nice. without the beard, though. <laughs> it was more effective without the beard, yeah. Oh it, my God. I think we, didn't we call lunch early? Because everyone know. started yeah. cracking up Probably. because he just, like, yeah. <laughs> he just wanted to change the character. Oh my gosh. Was, I don't know if that's when the drool times. happened, though. It was another time. Like, yeah. I have a <laughs> mental image of the drool his, happening. It was a lot of drool. <laughs> his hands seemed to be below his knees. <laughs> <laughs> it seems yeah. to be sort of hanging below his knees. I remember, um, I remember was, my first day on the set <laughs> when Emily saw me. I think a lot of you were there, and Emily saw me, and she was like a zombie apocalypse, where in where you just have to make it until sunrise, and then you'll probably be okay. And she saw me, and you walked towards me on the set, and you went, "Oh my God, thank God you're here! Please help me!" And I looked around, and I said, "Oh, honey, I'm afraid I'm going to be absolutely no help to you at all." I mean, yes. Hello. Aww. Hello. Oh, hey there. Hello. Look like we have another. This, this is my Aww. youngest daughter, Hello. Hope. That's the youngest Hello. one? Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Youngest of all. We don't know. Anyway, uh, I remember on that first set, that first day when when uh, we weren't sure. Remember, we were, Amy, you can talk about this, but mm -hmm. she came in like from the airport. Yeah, you she was had like, just come Sorry, from a flight here I am, from blah, blah, blah. Germany, Everyone was I like, think. Well, that's Chloe. Yeah. <laughs> and you were just kind of like, I've just come off of a, you know, a, a transatlantic flight. I think you were flying from Germany with a, I mean, your son was under one years old at that point, I think. This was 2008. Glad you remember. I mean. But it was just so funny because you walked in with just the right sort of fuck it energy. Oh, wow. Right, <laughs> which is just like your hair was just all over the place. You just kind of came in like, yeah, this is what I just did. Let's do this. And it was like, okay, there's Chloe right there. Yeah, and I had my. I remember at one point I had my sides in my hands and I went to say something and I just kind of went like this. <laughs> and we all just kind of went, well, that happened. And then I looked at Nolan and carried on. And that was uh, how amazing for once in my life that being a total cock up won me something amazing. Well, Thank you were you. very present. <laughs> For caravan in Lancaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the petrol I could eat. <laughs> petrol. <laughs> Gasoline. Out there, out there in the desert, chewing cigarettes. Making and, tamales. Hey. Lighting matches. Yeah. Get your tamales. Hey, you got, roll yeah, up, you got, roll up. You got a PlayStation? <laughs> You got a PlayStation over there? Oh, well, I've got an order coming in. No, I'm sorry. Kitchen's closed. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> nice. Oh, That's so lovely to see everybody's face. I was thinking today, it's been, what, almost 14 years since we all met in the first place? Oh, my word. Is, Is that right? Wow. Has it been, it been that long? Auditions for Drake's Fortune for the first Uncharted was 2006. 
Yeah. yeah. So, um, I think we shot our very first scene like August of 2006. Wow. Oh my gosh. I found this, uh, p- these pictures. I, few- I found a few pictures for my thing. Let me take this off. <laughs> I could have not been on that computer this whole time. What so this is mean? all of us doing a T pose. Do you see it? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So it's a T pose. Uh, yeah. uh, it looks like a strange there. dance. And this is like a, a sort of fisheye lens. Um, I don't know, Nolan, your cousin might have given this. You can see. And then, uh, you know, the stupid pose. And then here's, this is from Uncharted 1, actually. This is mm-hmm. uh, the lovely, the original. Oh, you've just been, you've just been still got all dancing down memory lane, haven't you? And, I just love the fact that if you'd actually been zooming from that computer, you could have shared those screens. Oh, I know. Well, why didn't <laughs> I just do that? Then? Let's oh, no, not go there. No, 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 no. I wasn't going to say that. I said nope. you're on an iPhone. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. 10 is, minutes of Robin this just just his body just sort of moving things around well, robin, robin i have a question for you if you'd like to turn around unless you've got a, no, lost robin. he looks I'm like sorry, a bond gonna, villain just surfing the internet here he <laughs> does look like a bond villain but like the one in isolation is like i will kill you all when it's safe Later. i'll kill you all his murder yeah. is not good if you know you get the sniffles um robin you played a number of characters um what was your favorite? You, you were in every one. We preferred Tenzin because you didn't speak. But <laughs> what was what was the what, what was your like favorite? Tolbert. Like seriously, you played a lot of characters. I always, you know, said about uh, Tolbert. You know, it's playing the game and just watching him. That I just fucking hate that guy. <laughs> and so I always felt like I did a good job there because he's the villain, and you know, you want to kill him. Um, but I think he was my favorite. Um, overall um but i did have a lot of fun shooting tenzin you know trying to uh communicate non-verbally uh that was fun uh the mushu ping pong <laughs> yeah the first line that was the know, first line drake so wakes up talk about that amy but you know i mean what why not was, drake we... wakes up in tibet and i roll yeah. i'm like oh, where am i and he goes mushu ping pong and i lost no, it it was just like anything i could think from a child like no show mushu no no i show one now Yes. Yeah. Well, show, ping pong. Right. It was all going to be dubbed later by an actual but, Tibetan actor. But, Not but that I was he totally didn't committed to it. I was, I was trying to be serious, and everybody thought it was, you know. <laughs> Like ridiculous. I was like, no, 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 it was funny because no, I didn't. Like, amazing. I did not ridiculous. They said amazing. he's not going to say anything. I didn't know you were going to say anything. That was the thing. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, and then all of a sudden he starts talking to me. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Take two. Oh. Yeah, that's when Amy came up and said, um, <laughs> I, I don't know if that's a good idea. We might have switched just... to English at that point. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. yeah, I think uh, you were the uh, very perfect. first person we actually hired and cast. I think you were there, weren't you, Robin, for like even our first like stumbling mocap tests. Yeah, you brought in a, there was a stunt guy. There was who, like a uh, stunt guy. Yeah, all amazing kinds. flips. Yeah. yeah, and <clears throat> I, mean, and I got a gig actually yeah. from uh, Gordon Hunt. Uh, I, I, I worked on a game called Just Cause, mm-hmm. and I uh, did a Spanish guy for that, uh, Rico Rodriguez on the first mm-hmm. one, and then um, so he recommended me, and uh, I think Chris Zimmerman did. Yeah, too. Chris Zimmerman. So I've, I've I told you. that story before that when I moved to Los Angeles, because <clears throat> I had worked with Gordon and Chris on the Legacy of Kane and Soul Reaver games before that. Um, and that's where I also met Simon Templeman, who played Gabriel Roman in the first game, and Renee, oh, yeah, Simon, who yeah. played, yeah. Um, and uh, so when I moved to LA and we were embarking on this new thing, I remember Chris talked to me, and I was standing in my kitchen with just a post-it and a pen, and she said, well, there's two guys that you definitely need to see at some point, and that's Nolan North and Robin Atkins, Robin Atkins down. And I had that little yellow post-it on my kitchen counter, like the whole time I lived in LA, hmm. and it just <laughs> became a little uh, totem for me. Oh, oh wow. wow. Here's one. I can show you a few here. So you got the share thing happening. Yep, here we go. Oh, you know how to do this. Oh, oh look. Oh. So there's the Jeep. It's the Toyota. I remember oh. that. That had, had, had it smelled like pee, pee and uh, rat poop. <laughs> That's right. That well, was the, it was um, in a barn, actual. so you'd smell like pee and rat poop too. <laughs> yeah, there's well, I do. the actual <laughs> um, stage for the very first moves. one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And then um, let's see. There was the, 
<laughs> the suits. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then nice. the trees. <laughs> and that weird nice. thing with somebody's head on it. Right. The spikes. That, the spikes. Oh, Richard just got very excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's disgusting that was the, i know that was her actually the scene that we used for the callback <laughs> auditions where you and nolan read together you were reading oh right um and it was the spike scene and that was the one that not only won him the job but you the job <gasps> and there's a the last kidding. little tifos yeah so that's that's how you share a screen Aww. there's some stuff there the other person that was at those uh, auditions was Greg Myrie, who That's was right. uh, Emily's oh, yeah. uh, uh, fellow Classmate. student at UCLA uh, oh, in his right. dance class. And so when we did, <clears throat> we brought in everybody for the callbacks into that better room, obviously, where we had more place, more room to play. Um, em Emily and Greg both read as Elena and Drake against the people coming in doing the auditions. And that also... Uh, uh, one uh, Greg the part to play uh, of the um, cameraman. Yes, the cameraman, cameraman Jeff. Jeff. The cameraman. Yes, cameraman. which led to one of my favorite moments that we ever had in all the series. Is just like, uh, thanks for the input, Jeff. When what? you put it that way, it does sound pretty stupid. Yeah, thanks for the input, Jeff. <laughs> That's one of my favorite. Lines. And I, me I remember, I remember. I think it was Claudia and I were talking about. So was there something with those two? I said, I don't know, but I think Drake would think so. And she goes, right. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, I was talking about that, and it just became like, I'm like I think we did it. And I don't know if we used it. I'm like, no, I, I think we did. It's like, well, I, I think I was talking to uh, Chloe. I'm like, you think they're together? It was something like that. I just think in those days it was difficult to do fingers, so we, Chloe definitely would have done that in response <laughs> to what Drake said, but we weren't allowed to do any finger stuff. It would have just been, this. and that is what. <laughs> see, okay, hey, like, ladies and baby. gentlemen, that is why, right there, why Claudia Black. <laughs> got the role. I mean, she's just, she fit right in. We need people, well, one person who has the emotional maturity of someone who hasn't even been born yet. Okay. <laughs> I already got that. But let's have another. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, Very quick. Okay. <laughs> this is going to serve for all the fans. No, no. We're going to cut the help out. She doesn't, we're, don't let her out. Ooh. Hey, you know what we're going to do right now? We're going to take a, a, a second to read our sponsor today. So let's do that. Hey guys, support for Retro Replay comes from Manscaped, who is the best in men's below the belt grooming. Now listen, April has been Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. This is super, super important. I mean, did you know that one guy every hour, every day is diagnosed with testicular cancer? I mean, this is a serious thing. And, and I, this is a reminder from your Uncle Noli, you know what I'm saying? That all you guys listening to check yourself before you wreck yourself, you know what I'm saying? Get down there when you're doing the grooming, when you're taking care of stuff, when you're using the, the lawnmower 3.0 or the crop preserver or the crop reviver, whatever you need, check for the lumps. Give yourself a little uh, tickle, you know? And uh, if you find anything, see your doctor. Early detection is key. Now, listen, Manscaped is serious about this. I want you to go to manscaped.com slash we save balls, all right? Share their educational video with anyone you know. Help save lives and balls. Also, go to manscaped.com, put in the code RETRO on any order. You're going to get 20% off plus free shipping, right? I'm going to say it again. 20% off plus free shipping with the code RETRO at manscaped.com. Hey, your balls will thank you. And we're back. It's fantastic. By the way, we're... we're, 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 we're this is, a, this is a really good panel to have because it's, uh, it's, it's, we're sponsored by Manscaped, which has grooming tools for, well, your genitals. So uh, that's the kind of, that's what we're for doing. You guys. I did that and, for you in the pandemic and guess what? It was a blood razor and it did not go well. Um, okay, well, you know what? Blood. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it, wow. I have a wow. star. That is absolutely <laughs> horrible. Okay, no, it's a, <laughs> 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 I stopped. Uh, <laughs> oh, you know what? I stopped uh, but when the bleeding <laughs> started, so there's one really long hair at the end of the scar. Oh, oh, come on. God. You know what, I kind of want to see it now. <laughs> oh no. I'll take no, a photo oh, and you no. can add it later. That'll be my contribution. Oh my God. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> I think I Emily's, I Emily, Emily seems to be sitting there kind of just going, none of them grew up. No, <laughs> she's, having, she's having PTSD symptoms. She's, she's like she's the girl goes back to her high school reunion and goes, none of, no, 
No? Yeah, listen. <laughs> Claudia, you I should came, not have you came come on to this Zoom as if you had one hair hanging from your underarm. It was absolutely <laughs> horrible. It, 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 that doesn't even <laughs> no make idea. sense. Oh, Robin is anymore. You just waltzed in here like He's a Simon single Cowell armpit now. hair. <laughs> Simon. Those are real martinis he's drinking. <laughs> yes. right. and that's the fifth oh, one. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm almost done with this one. I've just positioned myself ever so wonderfully right in front of this circle that's around my head currently. <laughs> oh, nice. Really it's like a little halo. There you go. It's a halo well, yeah. that's appropriate. That's right. Mm -hmm. It is a big one. She's Emily always had that expression on her face right from the very first. She would just sit I, there yeah. with this. What? <laughs> So. Yeah, <laughs> it was her internal <laughs> monologue. Oh, listen, oh. can't I? I That's cannot. I cannot keep up with y'all. There's no point. I cannot oh. keep up with y'all. So I just sit there and watch the ping pong jokes going back and forth. That's pretty much it. Well, you know? what I wanted to do today too is, if you guys will join me, the fans have been. They loved Uncharted one playthrough. They loved Uncharted two playthrough. And uh, Richard, Robin, you haven't been able to be part of that thing, but I thought I would do something. Hold on, check this out, ready? Hold on, this, this is great, I really enjoy this. Hold on, let's see, where is it? Uh, ready? Let me do that, I'm gonna do it too, just a second. Guys, so this is what, this is my official announcement to the replayers, we're gonna do from quarantine, the Uncharted 3 playthrough. I'm going to sit here, I'm going to play it, and I want each of you to join me one by one. Oh, no! San Got Francisco it. earthquake! Ah! 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 Oh, my God. And it's, um, it never gets too old to get just upstaged by virtual backgrounds. Emily, I love it! You know what, one of my favorite Uncharted moments, like it's a satellite Uncharted moment, but it was just like meta pride. When there was a video of Harrison Ford being yes. allowed to play yeah. Yes. Yes. a beta version yeah. with the Japanese Sony executives. He was allowed to play, was it Uncharted oh, yeah. 2? Three. The three. Opening no, sequence. that was three. Oh, that he was played three. the sequence falling out of the plane. And it was blowing his mind. And yeah. he kept he just, saying, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It just doesn't give up. It just, the action yeah. just keeps going. And it was one of the most meta experiences of my life to see this man who had inspired the character to a great extent. And all mm. these, this type of storytelling that we, we love. And, and probably showing up to this thing thinking, oh God, I made this, <laughs> do this promotional thing. And then as you yeah. played it, you just got this smile from ear to ear, just uh, like a kid. It was like one of my favorite moments. <laughs> Fantastic. Now that was better got... than any trophy. I'll tell you. Yeah, I know because I didn't why am I upside any. down. No, we don't know, Robin. Why we don't know, any, Robin. any of it? You're clearly These very questions drunk. and many more about Robin Atkin Downs cannot be answered in a single Zoom session. <laughs> Robin's in his own. Down. We don't know why. Robin's in his tops. own episode of Monty Python. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> hey Ames, what are you yeah. most proud of? You know what I'm most proud of is how we made something partly intentionally and partly by accident that like everyone loved. Like the demographics of the game from young and old, people played with their parents, you know, people played with their spouses, women loved it, men loved it. It just, it just struck the chord. It was like this sort of adventure comfort food for everyone. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's something that I've sort of taken to heart in terms of my work going forward as well. Um, yeah, that's true. We've had so many people come to me and just, you know, and tell me like lovely stories about how they shared it with, with family members and it brought them together. People who played it with parents who were on their deathbed and they hung out, you know, they hung on to, to play the latest mm. game together and mm. stuff like that. Just wow. like, again, wow. better than any trophy, better than Harrison Ford playing your game is just knowing that people had these, these, these moments. And of course, mm -hmm. it was the most fun I had on any project ever was working with you guys, being on the stage with you guys. I miss it. Ditto. Yeah. And look, at the, look at the size of Richard's Do another one. Did you want to do it again? <laughs> Richard's virtual background is exactly the same as his house. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a photograph it's a of a friend of mine. That's a serial killer tip there, Graham. That's I'm right. just waiting. I'm waiting for it to like to kind of flicker out and it's just people just hanging by their feet. 
<laughs> I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for him to be in the curtains in an outfit made from the curtains. That's what I need to see. <laughs> like Scarlett O'Hara? I Which is your Lady Hosen. Maybe Lady Hosen. I drank out of a skull. I, I just want to say in response to what Amy said, it's the best damn thing I ever did. I've told her this. I've told all of you guys. It's the best job I had in my entire career. I had more oh. fun on that job mm -hmm. and more freedom of expression and creativity on that job than anything I had. And I've, I've had that a similar experience. Last uh, a couple of years ago, I was in London Comic Con with Nolan mm -hmm. and uh, signing stuff for people. and. Oh my God, the stories that they would tell me. This mm -hmm. one young man who was probably in his early 20s at the time said that when he was a kid, his father abandoned him and his mother and they were homeless. And the only thing he had was his PlayStation and his Uncharted game. And it kept him sane. Mm -hmm. wow. And Sully was a kind of father figure to him. Oh my God, I wept. Yeah. And I mean, uh... he plug it in. <laughs> I knew you were going to oh. say that, Nolan. It was I was waiting dumb. for it. I was waiting for it. Oh, my God. You just had to ruin it, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> you just had to do that. It's a really what beautiful moment. On a nice in the hotels, Would... Nolan. In the hotels. They couldn't have. They were in a box. They were in. <sighs> they were in a trailer. Like they were in a motor home. <laughs> God. Ask Richard. He went to the. He, he, they don't, they're not alive anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great story. Now your neck's broken. <laughs> Click. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, the affection for the I love you so we've much. made is is amazing. You know? <laughs> I love you so much, Richard. I swear to God. You know, if, if, you, if, you oh get, if you get so old and decrepit that you need somewhere to live, I will let you stay with us before I put my own father in my house. I bring you stuff. He's like, I remember when we were in the Jeep. I'm like, okay, yep. <laughs> I shit in the bed again. Oh, hold know, you to okay. that. Okay, love you. Uh, her name is Zhao Zhen. I still have her I, shin bone. I've been doing my own... Um, my own version of retro replay during the quarantine after the kids are in bed, literally Derek and I will go and put Uncharted on and we'll sit there and try to make it through the levels. Really, like oh, wow. literally. It's hard, like, you know right? What? We've always seen, I've always got to see right. the scenes. We've always got to see them cut together, but I'm like, I gotta, I gotta freaking beat this thing. <laughs> I, it's been so fun. It's been so fun. Nolan has so turned into a, uh, a master gamer. I know. Uh, Carefully let's, pronouncing let's, that. Oh, he's done very good. No, I got the whole. <laughs> I put a space in between. Is, if I knew if I said Master Gamer, you all would have jumped on me. Yeah. So. I, <laughs> no, it's funny because it's like I, I I find that if I start doing something like that, like this OCD takes over, and like I, you know, somebody could be like, the house is on fire. I'm like, I'm almost done. I won't leave. So you guys, so we're gonna do Uncharted three playthrough. You guys into like oh, no. a, do a Zoom and, and come in and just like, you know, pick on me individually sure. during this time? You yeah. got to get everybody else in there. You got to get Saeed in there. Mm -hmm. ah, that'll be a fun show. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> Saeed. Hey, Saeed. Nathan. You He's remember like, me? The pirate. Hey. He, he is a big ball of fun. Yeah, sabahi al-falafil wal hummus wal baba ghanog. Remember me? Hey, you know what? One more, one more story one more. I want, uh, Amy, I want you to tell because... I talk uh -oh, about this spot. and I think I this... have a goldfish memory. So we'll see. What no, happens. no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll lead you in on the whole <laughs> thing, right. but it was one of my favorite things about how we always worked. All of us worked together in such great collaboration was how we were doing uh, the, the London opening scenes. And Graham just said, imagine if he was like claustrophobic and he started going, it'll be all over. It'll be over soon. It'll be over soon when he's going through the alley mm -hmm. and how that ad lib, that little improv that he did, Mm -hmm. That, you know, we probably at first was just, you know, would it be a great quality that this rough, tough guy has of this, this fear turned into something that you ended up using in order to get us into that fight where Drake can't hit Cutter. Right. Um, I think we had it was his improv that that sparked that. Yeah, right? we had talked, if I remember, Graham, about I knew I wanted to give him some sort of a phobia that felt like out of character. Um <laughs> And that I wanted yeah. it to call back to it later in the story, much later when it became a crisis, when the phobia. And, and so we hadn't really determined what that was yet because we hadn't made those levels or written that part yet. 
And then, so we just talked about it, I think there on the day or during the rehearsal mm. day. And it was just, you had us all in tears laughing. So we're like, well, that's it. You know, <laughs> the fact that you were freaking out going through a five foot hallway, like five feet wide, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember that really well. Yeah. God. Funny. Wow. We were going wow. back and forth between New Zealand and, and LA doing the, uh, the dwarf. Well, that was the problem. He said, couldn't go back dwarf. into force. Yeah. So Doing the dwarf. He had, he had good off. news and bad news to deliver, which was, Absolutely. I got image. cast in this thing. That's gonna, yeah, Doing the dwarf. Doing the dwarf. That's shoot. a different movie. Yes. That's <laughs> a different movie. So we had, uh, we had to scramble and rewrite things a little bit to accommodate your departure. Yes, we had the, what was it, Graham Appaloosa or something? Yeah, Graham Appaloosa. Yeah, well, okay. yeah, that's right. We had a Graham Appaloosa for like, I think we had two of them for a week where we just had... Yeah. Mm. We just shot like mad for a week and got everything. That we oh, I forgot about that. Grandma Palooza. Mm, that's right. Where he would just fly yeah, I was in looking and. At that. In my diary. Mm -hmm. it... Oh, he's Again. frozen. Look at how Ooh. ugly he looks when he's frozen. <laughs> I, flew, Look at I flew to LA. It's like he's getting just... rooted right yeah, now. Just for oh! that, yeah. You had a week off and you, you graciously came it's and frozen. gave it to us. All right. I got a question. For each of you, I want to find out. So, Drew was talking to me. And he said, uh, what do you think, okay, Uncharted 3, our characters, Cutter, Dre, Sully, Elena, Chloe, Talbot, what would we be doing? What would they be doing in quarantine like this? <laughs> Graham, go. Mm. How would Cutter be handling quarantine? Cutter wouldn't be dealing with quarantine very well at all. <laughs> Shut into his no, he wouldn't be doing well at all. <laughs> I mean, he'd be practicing with his makeup kit. He'd be he'd be creating disguises, maybe just yep. to surprise people when eventually he comes out of quarantine. <laughs> maybe you know some a turban, some sort of you know a, a mustache on top of his mustache, uh, that kind right. of thing. Just to that just was to, an Uncharted just, Four, Graham. Do you know what, Graham? That was, that the, was the, the original uh, look of Uncharted Four. That yeah. that That's that, true. that that people I were going to find out that, that Graham yeah. was a uh, that Cutter was a master of disguises. That, right. that he so just, there's a, there's an Easter egg. There's an Easter egg. Champagne. 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 No, my favorite. Was I like, have a mustache. Uh, Would you like a better like one? A, <laughs> Would you like a mustache? Would you like a mustache? I have a mustache. She's like, you want a better one? <laughs> Great line. You want a better one? Oh, dear. And nobody Sully, knows what are we what doing? What are you doing about? in quarantine? Nobody knows what we're talking about. No. Nobody knows. No, it's one of my favorite moments of that whole thing. I never saw the light of day. Nope. Robin, where is Talbot in quarantine? I think Talbot's probably, you know, a major d at a restaurant, zooming with all his minions uh, across the world and taking advantage of uh, nobody on the streets and, and running. I think he's robbing at the bottom of an abyss in Shambhala, isn't he? Maybe. Or not Shambhala. <laughs> the the, the uh, Atlantis Maybe of the Sands. Maybe he came back. Maybe. Yeah, well, let's just say he found his way out and he made it, you know, that, that just Marla went down. He's now head of the organization, but like, there's like, you know, it's like, okay, we have a roll call. Kyle? <laughs> no, Kyle. Okay. How about Robert? <laughs> Robert number two? <laughs> Who is here? <laughs> I'm here. Right. Okay, Ryan's here. <laughs> okay, it's me and Ryan. That's your henchman. You get one. Mm -hmm. Chloe, where are you? Digging a hole to China, mate. Well, that's the last place you want to go. <laughs> that's the last place they'd look for her. Uh -huh. oh, that's okay. Well played. Well played. Savvy. I like that. Playing with matches. Richard, where are you? <laughs> Matches and digging all the China. <laughs> probably not a good combination. Where is Sully? During, during, Sully would, no. would probably be on the internet uh, doing deals, uh, nefarious deals with people in antiquities. Ripping no, no, no. Off. Where is Sully? Not you. <laughs> what is Sully doing? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. got, come on. You got to be holed up in some little, oh, yeah, hey, with some little hottie. I love that. I am Sully. Sully is That's me. That's poster, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I am Sully. <laughs> I'm or not. World. I have a note to self. Never bring a martini to the next uh, Zoom interview. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> what was I thinking? Especially at 2.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Elena, we know. She's, in, she's with Drake and they're pregnant. Oh, is that, is that how that works? Is that how that works? Probably. Uh, I don't think I, so. Mm, I think she would be probably um, editing some footage together. Don't say anything. That's disgusting. <laughs> I didn't and say then, anything. <laughs> she would be trying to. So, she, so she's still working, on her, right? Yes, always. She always has her projects in her back pocket. And her right. social media numbers. And then I think, honestly, her and I mean, I'm not to jump ahead on your answer, but I think they would be taking advantage of the situation and they'd be out. They'd be on some adventure somewhere. They wouldn't be quarantined, to be honest. It's the perfect them. time to break into the a perfect museum. Time. It's That's the right. perfect time. They would not be at home. They would be out. I just Charlie. saw a guy climbing a building wearing a mask. <laughs> what is up with that? <laughs> Yeah, Drake Easy would just pickings. be at like the he, Drake would just be in the backyard, just climbing things or <laughs> not. He'd just be sitting there going, "They get, hey kid, you ready for another adventure?" It's like Sully, I put on thirty six pounds. <laughs> well, it's time to lose them, <laughs> Sully. I can't lose it. I love ice cream and Netflix. Too much. And now I talk like this for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why Sully, my <laughs> Nate, suddenly sounds like that. Well, that's quarantine for you, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, Graham, I uh, love to see no. you on the tropics like that. Uh, you I hate great. to be the bearer of bad news, but I, 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 I know it's nice. It's nice. Yes, I'm, about, I, I'm wrapping am, it up. I actually have to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm wrapping it up. Life. <laughs> yeah. What's that like? Oh, Glad to hear it. I, I just assume that you, you're not, you know, because <laughs> you only ever stop talking when I come to stay with you when I turn the light out in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we had to burn the second mattress. A second mattress. The second mattress. And I only slept on that a couple of times. We flipped it. We flip it too. So it's like four. <laughs> That's basically four. <laughs> Thank you guys uh, for joining us today. Um, it's been a great, great day here at Retro Replay. So. Graham McTavish, Richard McGonigal, Emily Rose, Claudia Black, Robin Atkinnowns, Amy Hennig. Signing off until we get into the Uncharted 3 playthrough. And yes, look at these adults. <laughs> these are all the adults. Okay? This is, this is perfect. This is what I've come to expect of you. <laughs>
Guys, that's our show for today. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed uh, you know, this reunion with our Uncharted family. I hope you're pumped for the quarantine edition of the Uncharted 3 playthrough. It's going to be a blast, and we're going to make it work. I mean, we got the technology. We're figuring it out. And, I mean, I, I basically have so much dirt on everybody you saw today, they can't say no. So it's going to happen. It's going to happen real soon. Keep your eye out on Retro Replay Show. We're going to let you know all the dates and all the good stuff coming up very, very soon. So that's our show. Well, only one thing left to do. Ugh. Line. Ugh. So what do we play next? What he said. <laughs>